Hi everybody, this is Ben with racegraphics.com and this video is a short tutorial on how to use racegraphics.com online race car designer. Uh, what I'm going to do is go through a few things here and just sort of show the basic ways you use the online designer. So what I've got pulled up first here is the dirt late model we have on the website and right off the bat you can see there's a few things you can do here you you can click and see the four different views and we see an add wrap button and an add numbers button and then we can also change the car color right here and then there's a continue button which we won't use yet and then you've got a price up here which is the running total for the package that you're designing so everything you see on the car added up that's what that number is up there so the first thing I'm going to do here is click through the views and you can see we're looking at the left and right view and then we can look at the top and we're also looking at the rear of the car and if you hover your mouse over the car you can see the lightning bolts effect and what that is that means that area is selectable we can click inside of it and we can add graphics to it so I just clicked inside of the dirt late model here and basically we're in the editing mode of the side of the car and we can add text we can add numbers a wrap clip art we can upload our own logo or we can go to the design library which has the graphics we've previously added to the car and we can also change the color of just that side so I'm gonna hit done and as you can see that changed just the color of this side of the car so let's go ahead and change everything back to the same color and we'll pick light blue and then that will hit apply to all and that changes all the sides the same color so let me click through here and you can see on the top view we can edit the hood and the roof and the back deck and also the spoiler we can put graphics on and also on the rear so the two most common things we've tried to put right front and center and that is adding a wrap to the car and adding numbers to the car so probably the first thing you will want to do is just play around with the wrap feature so you don't have to click on edit or anything you just hit add wrap and then you immediately get into our wrap designer here and what you can do is just click through the pages and pick the wrap that you like most for your car and what you've got up here are some filters we have side themes and we have hood themes and then we have half wraps, quarter wraps, and full wraps. Now, right at this moment, we don't have any quarter wraps or full wraps loaded into the site, but that's coming in the future. And then you can also filter by the series. So, say if we want to see just the edge series, that shows us just the graphics in that series. So, let's go back to show all. And then we'll be adding wraps as time goes on. So, you might want to see the newest or you might want to see the oldest. So, here are the oldest wraps we have in there. So what I'm going to do is just pick a random wrap here. Let's pick Arsenal Blue, and I'm going to hit Save. And what just happened here is that we have predetermined where these wraps should fit on each car loaded into our website. So we've tried to do the hard work for you, and we just place it right where it should go. So if you go left and right view, you can see the theme is already right where it needs to be so of course you might want to go through themes you might want to click through and see how a few different ones look so just hit add wrap again and let's just pick a different one and we'll hit save and you can see it just swaps it out just like you think it should so that's the basic function of the wrap feature so next I'm going to go to the add numbers we probably want to add numbers to our car so we'll hit add numbers here and my number is 58 and if you have a letter you can type it here also so I'm gonna put X I'm gonna hit next and what the site's gonna do is show you some of the most popular fonts people use for numbers and it's several pages here but I'm gonna pick one here I like and what it's gonna do next it's gonna give you nine different fill options so you might just want something basic or you might know that you want a few outlines or some outlines and a shadow so I'm gonna pick double outline here 
and what the site's going to do is just load that up for you and what's important here is that the letter can be moved you can click left click and drag it where you want it and you can also click on the letter here this edits everything about the letter here on the left so let's make the letter bigger um, I'm just clicking that a few times make it makes it bigger okay and we can also move it manually from here but it's easier to just click and drag it and I also want to change the color of it I want it to be white instead and then I'd also like an outline on that and black is the color I wanted and I also want sharp corners I want it to be sharp cornered like that so that looks pretty good and then let's click number and let's change the outline of the number so we're already in the shadow and outlines tab and then we're already in the advanced outline feature here and it's outline 2 so I clicked here and the thickness is fine but let's change the color to a, a linear gradient and let's make it white okay so once we're done we just hit save and again that puts the number right where it should go on both sides and it also puts it on the top of the car where it should go so there's one other thing you might want to do on a car and that's put a hood theme on so we'll just go back to add wrap and we'll click on hood themes and the site is just going to know that because you're in hood themes because you were in the main area that you probably want the hood theme to go in the default spot so we've already set that up for you so all you have to do is just click it and hit save and the hood theme is placed right where you think it should go so it goes right right on the hood now you can still change anything you see here so let's try to change the color of the car again so we can change it silver you know whatever color we want here and let's click into one of these views here so now we're in the editing view of the left side and say just for example I wanted to edit the position of the wrap or change the wrap on just one side I, did, I just hit edit wrap and now I can click it and drag it where I want it I can also resize it and this does not affect the other side what I'm doing here and then it's changing the price giving me updated sizes okay and let's say I wanted the number up here on the rear wing uh, so I can go to design library here and basically we've put three things on the car and it's showing us the three things we've already put on the car so if I just click the number and hit done it's gonna drop a copy of it here on the car for me so I'm just gonna resize this down and hit done and it's right just like we placed it now there's some other things you can do in here you can just add text so let's add some text this is also pretty popular to do you can put your last name under your numbers so let's hit view fonts and let's go to italic here and we'll find a neat font and let's also make that a gradient and let's add an outline to it and I also want sharp corners on it and there's no need to redo the work we just did we can come here on the other side click and edit design library and we'll just grab that and we'll just place another one the exact same size on this side there it is
So what I'm going to show now is some features that are in the editing mode. We've seen a few here. We've seen the text feature and we've seen the edit wrap. Uh, and then we can also hit numbers again and we can go right back through the number wizard here and design a new set of numbers and put it on just one side if we want but it's easier to use the number button on the main area of the site so I won't really show that. Um, what I would like to show though is let's remove the wrap on this page. Let's hit remove and let's do the upload button. So what we allow on the site is you can upload basically any image format and we also support EPS, AI, and PDF vector based formats. Those last three are better because they're vector based. We can resize them. The quality won't go down uh, no matter what size it is. If you send us a JPEG, GIF, or PNG then we have to determine if that's going to look okay when we print it. And I want to be clear that it's on you to have us check. We will not call or email you if you send us a bad image. So we try and provide some information on our site. You know, when you upload it at the checkout, if it's bad quality or not, but ultimately you'll need to send us high quality artwork or ask us to check. And we'll be happy to check if you want us to. So I'm going to hit select files and I'm just going to upload a, a an AI file of the race graphics logo. So the site converts that immediately into an image it can use and I'm going to hit done and you can also upload multiple images here by the way. So I'll hit done and right there it is it converted it on the fly and you can see it's nice and high quality so when it's printed it'll, it'll look really nice let's hit done and right there's the race graphics logo on the front of the car <clears throat> and you know we might want it on the side of the car so let's go back to the design library click it and just like that we can put it on the side of the car and there it is so the last thing I'm gonna to switch to a different model here to show uh, let's go to the for this last demo here I'm gonna switch models I switched to the uh, full-size sprint car and a similar idea here this only has three views We've got a left right and a front of the car but what I'd like to show is how you can make your own theme you don't really have to use ours we we give you a lot of tools on the website to make one really easy and they can turn out pretty cool so I'm gonna click on the side here and let's go to clip art so we've got a bunch of clip art loaded into this site and it's it's really thousands of generic things like flags uh, race type stuff there's stripes uh, tribal stuff in here but I'm gonna go to the flames and you can see there's kind of you know long flame looking designs in here and I'm just gonna pick a random one here let's pick this one and basically we can change the color of each layer we see here so I'm gonna turn on the inner bevel which that gives it kind of a nice shadowed look you can see here and let's turn on the gradient and we'll just do this red down to yellow and let's go to the second layer which is white currently so it's this layer right here and what I'm gonna do here is pick the flame texture okay so that's a pretty neat design there and it's gonna be cut out so there'll be the color will show through what you see here and we'll click done okay and what I need to do is stretch it to fit the car So I'm just going to kind of fit it. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect because in the end you'll have to lay it on your car how you need to. But, you know, it's guessing that it'll be about 70 inches wide by 43 tall. So I'll hit done. And you can see real quick there we just made our own theme. And it kind of gives a flame 
a flame look to the sprint car. It's real easy to move around if you want, you know, make it make it fit how you think it should on your car. And then we'll put it on the other side. We'll just click here, we'll click design library, hit done. We'll just need to do one thing because it needs to be flipped. We'll flip it horizontally. Now it matches the other side. Hit done. So just like that you made your own theme. Um, it's you know really unique to your car. Nobody else will have it. Um, just a few clicks of the mouse there. So real quick here, I'm going to add some numbers onto the sprint car, and we're not going to do anything fancy. Just pick a default number here. That's fine, and I'll make it uh, white. And you can see it puts it in there, just like we talked about. Now what I'd like to show though is when you're ready to purchase your design, what you should always be thinking while you're doing this is what size am I going to get? What size are all my graphics? So you have two places where you can check this. So this theme here, I clicked it, and you can see this size is based on our estimation of a common sprint size, sprint car size. So from that we can tell you what we think the size you're seeing is. But if you know you need this at a specific size, you just click this button and you type the size you want. So I just tweaked the size a little bit, the price changed, but what didn't change was the preview down here because you know we'll make it the size you tell us to, but when you at that point we don't change the preview because that will not match up to the size shown in our designer anymore. So the important thing is that the price is right, what we produce for you will be the size you entered in here. So but just make note here that this 80 by 50 is now entered in here. And I'm going to click continue. And what the website's going to do, it's going to build you some proofs of what you just designed. And you can share this page by hitting the share button and it takes you to a page where you can share on Facebook or Twitter or wherever. Uh, you can save the images if you want. This design will not go anywhere. Uh, it should stay around for the life of the website. Uh, we don't have any plans to clean out designs at this point. So, and you can also save it for later, but as it says here, your design's already saved. So it shows you how to bookmark it if you want. You can come back to it, edit it, you can send it to people, and your design won't change. It'll copy it and they can tweak it from there so what we want to do though we want to hit purchase up here on the top right and right off the bat it's giving us a warning it's saying uh, check your sizes it's really really important because we will not replace anything that's ordered the wrong size because uh, we're real adamant about having you tell us what size you need and then the second blurb here is about colors uh, you've got to keep in mind that what you're seeing on your computer screen is just a representation of what the final color will be. It should be close, but we just have to say that, you know, you order a theme, it, it says Arsenal Red or Arsenal Blue. Well, it's going to have shades of blue and it's going to have shades of probably purple in it, even. If you want to see what it actually is going to look like, you need to request a sample because what we'll do, we'll print a smaller version of it on actual vinyl, the same vinyl you'll get, and then we'll send it to you uh, in an envelope and you'll be able to see it. So that's really the only way we can get around the colors. Uh, so what you can see here is that you can see the theme we did. It's kind of stretched, but it's stretched just to fit in this box. The important thing is the size you see here, the 80 by 50. We're going to make the right side theme 80 by 50 because that's what you put in there. You can see you did not change the left side, and it's still the 70 by 43. So what you would need to do is click here to make them the same size, 80 by 50. The price changed to match the other one, and now that's exactly what you'll get. And it's the same situation on the numbers. You need to make sure these numbers are the size you think they should be. And if they're not, just hit specify size, and it's easy as that. So if everything looks right, you just need to click add selected to cart. That'll add everything to your shopping cart. Or you can click the checkbox here, to change what's selected or you can also hit add to cart on just specific items and then that will 
add those to your shopping cart. So I'll hit add and selected. And it popped up a little window here. Added everything to your cart. Would you like to go to your cart now? So I hit OK. And I had some other stuff in here for later today, but uh, you can see it's put the flames in there. And it, get, it gives some information about the colors and it tells you it's printed. And then it's the same thing on the numbers. It uh, puts them both in there just like you'd expect. So an important note at this point is that if there's any problem, if you see that you design the wrong number or you need to change the size, you need to change the color, you need to change really anything, you just hit the edit button. Just hit edit. And that takes you right back into the, design, into the designer and you can basically edit what you need to. So for example, let's say we had a second thought about the color of the number and we want it to be blue. Okay. And we also need to check because there's two sides. The side actually changed the color for us. So see it's blue still. So we'll hit continue. And we'll go to purchase again. There's the blue number, but you can see the item in cart is grayed out. So that number was still in our shopping cart, but we changed the color of it. So let's see if it actually changed the color in the shopping cart. And it did. So your cart will update immediately. As soon as you change it, it's updating the shopping cart. So that would work how you expect. So that pretty much concludes the uh, overall demo of the race graphics designer. We have plans to make other more detailed videos for each feature of the website, but this video was really just intended to jump in and get your feet wet, play around, and take you all the way, all the way to the shopping cart so you could get an idea, you know, how to design and then go all the way to ordering it if you want. So we will follow up here shortly with some more videos. And if you have any questions, you can email us at contact at racegraphics.com. Thanks.